Hey everybody on Royal Wedding Saturday 2018. Um, some of my friends, African American black friends who are on Facebook and social media, but primarily, well, Facebook, have reacted negatively to the Royal Wedding. In other words, why should I watch this? Why is it important? And one friend said, 500 years of worldwide oppression to be countered by one Prince, or basically, I'm paraphrasing, in Prince Harry, he says someone who is not even king. And he was in reaction to my video talking about the importance of the royal wedding to African Americans and interracial families, both in America and really around the world. So my response is that it's wrong or well it's not so much that it's wrong that person I'm not gonna name my friends name has an has a right to think what they wish to think hold their opinion it should go without saying I hold that that his view and those who agree with him is a slave mentality that is they can't bring themselves to accept a future that really includes people that look like them, like us. So rather than celebrate what is undeniably, I mean undeniably, a landmark moment in world history, they have to try to subordinate it with responses like that, which lead me to ask, well, what are we supposed to do? Ignore that and then act as if we're still oppressed? Sure, there's racism. We see racist acts all the time. But we are also seeing in this, in the royal wedding, anti-racism. I mean, think about what we were privy to watch today royal wedding had as its main entertainment a black gospel choir from Chicago an Episcopalian pastor black from Chicago in the UK many symbols of standard common black culture a friend of mine said by a text he said that it's too bad we had to go to Britain to hear black music on television. <laughs> Although it's not to say that we have the best opportunities in the world right here in the United States of America. We do. But we have to celebrate victories. For example, this week, Alaska Airlines had two black women pilots for the first time in Alaska Airlines history. Don't know about other airlines. We have to mark progress to know when we're out of the slave era. You know, Kanye West said that slavery was a choice. That's wrong. Slavery happened be because you had people who wanted to do a criminal act on black people. Slavery is a crime. But those days are long gone. Why rest on them? I am not 500 years old. I am 56 years old. I'm not someone who was enslaved. Neither is my mom. So to act like that or to reach back and feel that, feel guilty for progress and success which is what I take from that comment, is wrong-headed. Completely, completely, one million percent wrong-headed. 